what a day! What a lovely day! Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome in once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at something uh, brand new as an offering from Caviso, which I've had a chance to do a couple of videos with before, and Maniago Knife Makers. Now this is kind of a three-way collaboration. I'm pretty excited to get into it. I think this is going to be pretty rad. One, because the knife itself is pretty damn awesome, and number two because of the way the sheath is made. This is actually something that um, I've been kind of toying around with doing as well for some of the smaller knives that I make that I want to do for pocket carry. And uh, they did this exceptionally well. Even though it's a very simple idea, they did it very, very well. Now, I'm going to be doing a few changes here coming very, very soon to my channel. Uh, and I'm very excited to start talking to you about them. Uh, as videos progress, as time progresses a little bit, I will be sharing with you what some of those, cha those changes are going to be. But today, we're just going to focus mainly on this. Now, normally, I, I do a big pitch about Patreon and all that. Hold off on Patreon right now. If you're already a patron, please stay there. I'm going to be shifting things over a little bit uh, to major, benefici <laughs> major beneficial things for you. I don't know why, but words are difficult today. Um, they've been giving me some pushback on doing giveaways. So what I'm going to be doing today is a giveaway just straight for my channel. For every subscriber that is already here, you're going to be eligible. You don't have to be a patron or anything else. I'm going to do this one separately. So I've got two knives here that I'm going to be opening up. It's basically the same knife, just in two different blade profiles. And this one, I haven't opened up yet. So I want to do the unboxing here with you guys live. And this is the little guy that I opened and I've been carrying for a few days to kind of get a feel for the knife, how it carries, to let you know if this sheath idea was really good. And, and to be honest with you, a little bit selfishly, um, to make sure that the ideas that I had <laughs> were going to be good as well. Um, so what I want you to do is stay tuned. We're going to do an unboxing in the very beginning. Then we're going to get into talking about the giveaway details because one of these two knives will be given away free to you as just a subscriber. And number three, we're then going to get into a quick review on the knife. And I'm going to tell you right now, just from the get-go, I'm very excited about this knife. You don't really have to wait to see uh, if I think it's a good knife or not. I do, but if you want to hear the details and my, my further thoughts on it, then definitely stay tuned. But there's going to be a link in the description below that will take you over to Caviso's website so you can purchase it. Notice it is not an affiliate link. That's stuff that I really haven't gotten into. I really don't want to do. So anytime you see a link from me uh, in a description, it doesn't benefit me. I don't get like a percentage of sales from anybody for anything. You'll notice it's just a regular straight URL that takes you directly to the product and doesn't have my name or a code or anything associated with it. Um, now, someday, if somebody offers you guys a really tremendous discount for me doing something, uh, I'm happy to do that, but nothing where... I get money out of you clicking from one of my videos. So without any further ado, let's get into this video and see just how cool this new offering is.
right, let's get this ball rolling. Now, before we get into this, I want to remind you again that I'm going to be giving away one of these knives to you as a subscriber. And all you have to do right now is just be a subscriber to my YouTube and follow my Instagram. If you're not already following my Instagram, oh, what the hell is wrong with you? So there is my Instagram right there. Go follow me because that is where I'm going to be posting the details for the giveaway. It's going to be that simple. All you got to do is be a subscriber here and a follower of me on Instagram and look for the post I'm going to make very soon on giving away one of these knives. Now, with that out of the way, we are talking about the Caviso and MKM Macro Nebula Edition. Special edition made specifically uh, for... Caviso with this really, really cool fat carbon nebula carbon fiber. I am very excited about this knife. I think it is wickedly, wickedly cool. Now, the original design uh, was done by Jesper Voxnes, and these are made in Italy by Maniago Knife Makers, which we'll just probably just abbreviate to MKM throughout the rest of the video since they do it themselves. Um, let me go ahead and first do the unboxing because there are two uh, two versions here. The one that I have in my hand, which is the drop point, which you, I look at more as a spear point, but whatever. Uh, so this is the drop point and inside of this box is gonna be the sheep's foot. Uh, and I haven't decided which one I like the best yet because I've only seen pictures of this one. Uh, so whichever one I like the best, uh, sorry, I'm keeping that one. And the other one is the one I'm gonna give away. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. If I can find the slit, there we go. And see what is going on here with this blade shape. Now inside, you're going to be getting your really cool sheath. You're going to be getting your knife. This will come with a protective uh, sleeve on there so that you don't cut yourself and it doesn't slice through the box in shipping. And there's going to be a tool here and I'll tell you why uh, that's gonna be important for you a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and get the protective sleeve off of there. Oh, that's a tough choice, isn't it? They both look really, really cool. Um, I think I dig the sheep's foot just a, a teeny tiny little bit more. I don't know, but I think they're both very, very cool. Great blade profiles. Great for EDC. Uh, these are going to be really, really popular. Oh my God, are these going to be popular? I'll clean this up here in a second. And uh, we'll get into the, the whole thing about what makes these knives so awesome. I guess I can just put that right there. And let's take a look at how this comes out. Okay, and there we go. There it is, all nice and cleaned up. Let's get the uh, sheaths out of the way for a moment. And we're going to talk about specs on these knives. Get that out of the way. And then, oh man, aren't those cool? Look at those scales. Really, really a big fan of those colorful scales. So uh, your overall length is 6.54 inches. Let me get this out of the way because I forgot I got to put the specs up on the screen. There we go. Overall length, 6.54 inches. The blade length is 2.87 inches. Uh, blade, si uh, blade thickness is, uh, looks like 0.16. Yeah, that's going to be nice and thin, but still robust. These are M390 stainless steel. The scales, once again, are made by Fat Carbon, and this is their Nebula that's how the, they named this particular color variation, the Nebula Carbon Fiber. Uh, the blade grinds on these are flat grinds. You get a choice of drop point or sheep's foot, and it's a stone washed finish. You'll get a leather magnetic sheath, and you'll get the Torx wrench inside, which is both a T6 and T8 head wrench. Now, what's the price on these things? 150 bucks. Great, great, great price for an EDC fixed plate. I think this is uh, going to put this in a lot of people's collections because of that. Now, one of the reasons I really love it is because of the sheath, because it is a pocket carry sheath primarily that can also, by the way, be used as a belt sheath where it will hang on your belt. And you don't have to take your belt on and off or put it on before you put your belt on. Um, all you got to do is you can just slide this right through your belt and boom, the magnets will clip it all together. However, I have been carrying this one like a 
folder in my opposite pocket because the way the sheath is made, it's ambidextrous. You can put the knife in left or right hand mode. So if it's going to be in your left hand pocket or your right hand pocket, you'll be able to draw it naturally and normally. I love how it fits in there. I give it a little squeeze just to make it easier. Boom. So this would be, uh, let's see, this would be for left hand carry the way that I put it in there, right? Nope, right hand carry. So as I draw it, you would see it just like that. And um, so, yeah, so if I wanted to actually carry it in that pocket, I would have to do it this way. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put the whole sheath into your pocket, and that's just going to clip over your pocket and magnetize to itself. Now, it's not going to be a super strong hold. Uh, because this is leather and it's going to take a little while to break in, you're going to withdraw the whole thing from your pocket. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not going to stay in your pocket while you pull out the knife. Uh, but what you'll be able to do is pull the whole thing out and then just take that off. You know, this is, you know, we're, you're not quick draw McGraw. You're, you're not trying to defend your life with this little baby knife. So it's not going to be a big deal about it taking an extra, you know, eighth of a second to get it out of the sheath. So if I want to carry it in my left pocket, all I do is just orient it as such, and boom, I'm all done. And this is going to flap over my pocket around the outside, and it holds it just high enough where I have access to the handle very, very easily. Now, why is that so great? Because you don't have any limitations. You can carry it on your belt or in your pocket. When you look at other smaller fixed blades, here's, uh, here's my tibia, the one that I made that I used to make as only as a custom, and then I retired it. And now I make the production version with Riot. So this is a good size that could be carried in the pocket. I chose to make this only for belt carry, though, because there are a lot of people that won't want to put a four inch blade down in their pocket and then have all this sticking up out of the pocket to be able to grab it. So I made this as a horizontal carry. So I carry this uh, over my left hip, so over my my front left jeans pocket, basically. And I had to put this on there because I didn't want over time for the leather to stretch and then the, your knife starts falling out on you. So that was my solution for that knife. Then you've got knives that really are intended to be dropped into the pocket and there's not gonna be any clip or any flap or anything else. Uh, I've had this for seven or eight years now. Uh, this is my Dennis Mura Kiri. This is his little Kiridashi which is, uh, what a fantastic little knife, super crazy sharp. Anyway, so his wife makes the sheaths and they're made for pocket carry. So all I do is I take this and I stick it down in my pocket and then I flap the lanyard out outside of my pocket so I can just grab it and boom, I can pull the whole thing out and then I just pop it off. That would be your typical pocket only carry. Um, and then you have something like this where you've got a Kydex sheath this is actually going to go uh, over, over your belt. You can clip it over your belt or you can run your belt through it, whichever you choose to do. And then it's just a standard, normal, everyday carry in Kydex. I am not a big Kydex fan. This, by the way, is a, uh, a Jerry Moen. I believe he called this the Interceptor. I've had this for a very, 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 very long time. Um, I'm not a big fan of Kydex sheaths because if... When the sheath is originally being made, if they don't clean everything up perfectly that's inside, they go to do that first test fit and they scratched up your finish. Ask me how I know. Um, I'm just not a big fan of it. It's, it's, if you have a delicate finish on your knife, uh, it can scratch it up more easily. Um, I just like leather. And leather, you know what? Leather is freaking classy. So I like it. So I'm very, very happy that they chose to do this. It gives you great versatility, pocket carry or belt carry. Uh, and also, if you have a, a chain around your neck or you just tie a piece of uh, 550 paracord and, and make like a little uh, long necklace or whatever, you could just put this right over that. And it's a neck knife. It's hanging over whatever you're wearing around your neck to carry as a neck knife. So versatility really is the key to this knife. Also, great design, great ergonomics. This thing feels really, really great in the hand. It's super comfortable. The jimping is precisely where you want the jimping to be. It's not like back here. How many times have we seen that where, like, I guess the knife designer thinks that you're going to hold the knife like this and you're jimp. No, the jimping's up here where I need it to be. Yeah, that's perfect. It's also got a crowned spine, so there's no sharp edges 
for you to be resting your fingers on or slicing your fingers across. And because these are shadow boxed scales, meaning they don't go all the way to the edge of the tang, it's even more important that all of those areas are crowned and rounded and made super comfortable for your fingers. So you have no harsh edges anywhere on this knife. The only edge on this knife is the cutting edge. So these were designed by Jesper Voxnes, and he actually does this in, in two basic sizes. Uh, the micro, and now this is the macro. The macro is a new larger variation of the micro. Uh, this is a special edition made only for Caviso in these scales. So if you want the Nebula scales, this is the only way you're going to be able to buy it. If you want just regular G10 or I think they do Micarta or some other things, you can buy them in, in many different places for like, I don't know, like $15 less. But for me, one of the big things that stood out for me, uh, quite honestly, really was the scales. I really, really, really like this carbon fiber. I've worked with it, not this, this particular color version, but fat carbon, carbon fiber, I've worked with when I made a lot of knives, and I really, really enjoy working with it. It comes out, it finishes so, so well. Now, the unique colors uh, of these scales are made, let me just kind of zoom in for you here, they're actually made to replicate the look of the Veil Nebula that's now visible by the James Webb Telescope, pretty much in HD. Now, we've been able to view the uh, the Veil Nebula for a long time, but now, I mean, my God, that telescope is insane, isn't it? We're seeing shit in, in a visual quality that we never thought we'd ever be able to see. It's kind of insane. Uh, the Veil Nebula is a supernova remnant made of a cloud of heated and ionized gas and dust in the constellation Cygnus. But you didn't know about that. Uh, it's about 2,400 light years away from the research that I did. And the source supernova was a star 20 times more massive than our sun which exploded about uh, between 10 and 20,000 years ago. So, yeah, kind of cool. So if you're, you're, you're into all that kind of astrological, that, astrological, that, no, that's, that's the uh, stupid signs like Pisces and Libra and shit. Uh, if you're into astronomy, uh, <laughs> I think you're going to dig this shit. If you're into astrology, please don't watch my channel. You're a freak. You're a weirdo. Just get out of here. Um, Again, for me, I love the size. I love how it feels. It's got a great edge. It's got a good uh, stainless steel. The, the sheath is honestly what makes this so wonderful. It's the perfect size knife to do a pocket carry. I enjoy carrying and do almost every day carry a fixed blade along with my folder. Obviously, I'm, I'm carrying you know one of my knives, but uh, so I'm carrying on the belt almost always. And I have a couple that I carry in my pocket in specialized sheaths. But this is the way to go for ease. It's just, it's so easy to work with. Another great thing that you may not be thinking of is because you have a magnet in here, it gives you uh, extra retention. So even over time, as this leather stretches out a little bit, as it ages, as you age, as the whole thing gets older, um, that magnet is gonna help retain the knife. And you're gonna feel that as you go to put the knife in, you're gonna feel it get sucked over to that magnet. So magnet uh, retention is really, really awesome. And we've seen that uh, in a number of uh, sheaths over the years, but this kind of pulls double duty. It does it for both reasons. As I mentioned, this macro is a larger version of the micro, which was uh, basically designed purely as a neck knife. Now, here is why, and I mentioned to you that I would tell you why you're getting this Torx wrench. Because the scales are removable. And by being removable, you have a skeletonized knife that you get to carry around with you. So it will be slimmer, lighter, lighter weight, not by a lot because really this is carbon fiber. It doesn't weigh very much. Uh, but if you want an even skinnier carry, especially on the days that you might decide to loop this over something you're wearing around your neck and carry it as a neck knife, uh, you might want to slim it down from these uh, contoured uh, carbon fiber scales. Um, you take out the T8 and the T6, the scales are easily removed, and there are skeletonized pockets in this, so you can carry a skeleton knife. How awesome is that? So... 
lots of versatility in the way that it carries, lots of versatility in the, uh, the blade profiles, lots of versatility in the way that you're going to use the knives. And quite honestly, when you look at this at 150 bucks, I think that a lot of people are going to be adding this to their collection and in enjoying, maybe for the very first time, carrying an EDC fixed blade. Because I know I was one that was late to the game. It took me years before I would carry anything besides a folder. I always wanted to have a folder in my pocket, and I didn't really care about fixed blades. I didn't, I didn't see the big deal. I didn't see why anybody would even carry uh, a fixed blade on them. And then it was one particular knife that got me into it. And once I got that knife and I started carrying a fixed blade almost every single day, I was like, wow, yeah, there's a lot of times that I would rather pull out a fixed blade. If I want to cut down a box, A, cost-wise, I'd rather pull out my $150 knife than my $1,500 or $3,000 or $5,000 folder that's in my pocket. Um, that's not always the case. It's going to be, this is just going to be made for that. It's going to be more stable in the hand. I've got a type of blade that's made for more utilitarian uses in many cases. Look at that. Look how perfect this is. Super comfortable. You've also got jimping on the back as well. Um, not really sure why. Because I can't think, because if you, you can't really do a reverse handhold on it. I mean, you can, but... It's buried in your hand, so you're not accessing. I don't know why that jimping's there. Maybe for withdrawing from the sheath that it makes it easier? I mean, I guess if you're just grabbing it like that, but I don't know many people that would be. So, I, hell, I don't know. I don't know why there's jimping back there, but there is, all right? Friggin' A. Uh, let's see. I see some laser engraving here. And it says, made by, what the hell does that say? Oh, made by M. K. What? Why does it even say it like that? Because it's Maniago Knife Makers, and they abbreviated to MKM. So I don't know what this. I don't know what that Makita shit is. I have no idea what all that's all about. So anyway, what's the deal with Caviso? Caviso basically is the new drop, the new mass drop. My God, the whole thing with drop. Well, that was crazy. It went from mass drop, then oh, just call us drop. We're because we're dropping the mass. I don't know. Just call us drop, and then drop disappeared. Now it's Caviso. That's going to be your go-to place. If you want to get uh, discounts and you want to get really, really cool exclusives, um, again, because you can't buy this version with these carbon fiber scales anywhere else. It doesn't exist. So if you want this one, you have to go to Caviso. So you're getting cool exclusives. You're getting uh, lower prices because these are actually $179. And then Caviso is doing this cool thing as kind of an extended introductory price at $149. So you save more money. So everything is pretty much limited. Things will come, they'll drop, they'll disappear, and they may never be seen again. So it's one of those fun sites where you're like, you'll check it one day and go, hey, cool, look how awesome that is. If I hadn't checked it today, I would have never gotten it. You know, because maybe tomorrow it would have been sold out. Maybe they'll never make it again. So there's a fun factor to shopping with them as well, just like we had with Mastrop and a few other websites like that. I dig that. I think it's fun. And it gives you some exclusivity. Let's be honest. We like to have something on occasion uh, that other people don't have. Not because we're better than them or anything else, just that it's nice to know that if I'm carrying this today, there's probably not very many other people that are carrying that same knife that day. If I meet up randomly with a bunch of knife buddies. Hey, what are you carrying in your pocket? And I'm carrying this. It is unlikely that another dude in that group is going to pull the same knife out. So we get to experience uh, some uniqueness within our community. And that's fun. So that's what I've got to say about the knife. I totally dig it. I like the fact that you've got uh, the lanyard hole on the end. A lot of people are going to choose to use this with a lanyard. That's awesome. You could tie one on super easy, throw your favorite bead on there, or not. Doesn't matter. The shadow box scales look nice. You get to see the framework of the steel all the way around it. You've got a great bead blast. I'm sorry, not bead blasted. A great stone washed finish, which is a user finish. That means I can use this thing all I want and not really worry about scratching up a fine satin and making it look ugly or some shit. I like the fact that the spine, actually the entire tang, everything all the way around is crowned 
and soft and rounded for my precious little soft baby hands. This is a fantastic little knife. Is it a work knife? Eh, no. For small tasks, yes. But you're not going to be cutting down cardboard for six hours with this. No, you're going to pick a bigger knife with a bigger handle, obviously. But this is going to be great for utility on a daily basis. It's already with you. Something comes across your path that you got to cut up or you chop up or slice up or whatever it is that you do. It's already in your pocket. You pull it out, boom, you do it, and you're done. I dig that. I think it's awesome. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you on the next video.